Here it is, Xiaomi's latest robot vacuum cleaner, the V3, so let's get right into it. This robot cleaner has so many features that I've left timestamps over here for you to quickly jump to the section that you want to check out. But first up is the unboxing, and here it is. Let's open the box, and the first thing we find is the manual. Give it a quick look, because there are quite a few good tips and tricks. Next up is the floor mop unit and two floor mop cloths. Now below that is the vacuum cleaner itself, but we will come back to that in a moment. The small box contains the charging station, the 2-in-1 water tank, a water tank, charger and an extra filter and floor mop. And let's not forget the two brushes at the bottom of the box. All the specifications and the current price can be found via the first link in the description. But let's just quickly go over some of the most important. A 4900 mAh battery, a maximum sweeping time of 170 minutes, the motor can rotate 18,000 times per minute, the suction power is 2600 pascals and produces a noise with a maximum of 78 decibels. And last but not least. It's smart, but before we can talk about that, we need to let it run for the very first time so it can map the environment. It starts by detecting all the edges and then fills in the empty space by using S-curves, but more on that along with Y-curves later. So it's smart because of multiple reasons. And first of all, it's loaded with a bunch of sensors, namely infrared, LDS, cliff detection and collision sensors. There's also a sensor for the dustbin and water tank. And secondly, it connects over Wi-Fi to the Mi Home application from Xiaomi, and that's where the real fun begins. The app is luckily really self-explanatory, so I will just go over some of the most important features that I think are interesting. For example, room tagging. This allows you to tag and edit rooms on the maps, as well as giving specific instructions like cleaning up specific parts in the room, spot cleaning or room cleaning. It probably doesn't come as a surprise, but from the app you can easily schedule cleanups. What I like even more is that you can use the home automation rules to set specific rules that if this happens, then that should happen. And what about its main feature, cleaning up the mess? Well, I've made some scenarios with all kind of different rubbish on the floor. And as you can see, it does the job well. It managed to pick up all kind of trash, but in my case it's a nice way to easily get rid of all the hairs from this lovely monster. And how about the mopping? First of all, I'm really happy that multiple mops are included and that water levels can be set, because that really matters when you have a wooden floor. Most models mop in a S pattern, while the V3 also offers a Y pattern. And I personally use the latter one often as many people walk into our house with shoes on and the extra bit of mopping cleans it to my wishes. The three different mops are also a warm welcome and works great so far. Whether the antibacterial one is working is a bit of a question as I haven't noticed any big differences. I have to say this is definitely one of the most advanced mopping models I've seen so far. I have a couple of reasons why I like this V3 version so much. This time Fiomi included a 2-in-1 tank and that works pretty good so there's no need to swap the tanks all the time as it allows you to vacuum and mop simultaneously. The three mops included a regular one, secondly an antibacterial mop and the divided mop with a dry part offers a solution for many situations. It can also handle loose items on the floor pretty good too. And speaking about the aforementioned S-curve, the V3 includes a Y-curve, resulting in a more thoroughly mopped floor. It's great for tiled floors, but this takes a little bit longer. The different mopping modes, strengths and water levels, along with room blocking and other smart features from Viomi, as well as the home automation integration with the Mi Home app, makes it a super interesting robot cleaner. It is really small, but this tool is tucked away in such an easy and convenient way that I started to appreciate it a lot. But there are also 5 things to take into consideration. At the moment it cannot live update the maps while cleaning, but Viomi confirmed to me that it will be possible in the near future via a software update. 
And secondly, if you have light curtains that are slightly too long or touching the floor, the V3 might get stuck in it. Thirdly, the price, because Xiaomi introduced the V3 for 499 euros, which I believe is a steep price, but you can check the current price via the first link in the description of this video, so make sure you do if you're interested. I also have to say, I believe that, yes, there are more affordable models on the market right now, but they don't offer such a good combination with hardware, software and updates like Xiaomi, Xiaomi, Xiaomi does. And second to last, the turbo and normal strength modes are too loud for us to let the V3 run at night. But that also highly depends on your situation and whether you live in an apartment or not. In the end, I still believe that any robot vacuum cleaner is a nice addition to your normal cleaning routines because it can't fully replace a handheld device yet because you can read certain parts and corners way better. Overall, it's big battery, strong motor, advanced mopping features and software options. I think this is by far one of the most advanced robot vacuum cleaners, even with its eeny meeny miny flaws and steep price. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm really curious about your thoughts. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did so, please give the video a like and subscribe in case you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see all of you in the next one.